Hello, and today we're going to add uh, the small well, snow biome and also fix up collisions in the uh, Sprite 4 and Sprite 5 sprites, so the entity sprites. <laughs> As you can see, at the moment, uh, the entities are not colliding with the, well, in the same way as the player is doing with the walls. So to fix this, we're just going to add the collisions we added yesterday into the entities. Drag over this part of this sprite into that part. Remove all of this and just copy in these. Now I've done that, uh, just add these here and it should be working. At least in this right. Put that in that one as well. We got quite the flat world there. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, now we'll just make another one which isn't going to be as flat so we can actually test the collisions. As you can see, we can now hopefully get the entity to properly respond to collisions. So, uh, now we're just going to add the next biome. To do this, just duplicate uh, biome 1, uh, make new uh, costume, just copy this one, and make it white. Change it to bitmap, and as you can see, we've now got a snowy grass costume. So we're going to change costume to costume 14 up here. Set biome to 3. And now we should see that we have the new snow biome appearing sometimes. As you can see, that's working. Now we're just going to make a little spruce tree. To do this, we're just going to duplicate the wood sprite and make it a bit darker. So just take that, we we'll change the colour a little like that. Change this bit of paper so we can edit it a bit easier. That'll do. So it's going to be 15 instead of uh, 10, I think. Okay, so with on that, uh, instead of 10, it's going to be 15. Just make sure you switch all the switch costumes to 15 out. And now we should see that we've got a spruce biome. There, let's make it a bit more common. So let's say 1 to 6 instead of uh, the previous variety. Yeah, we'll go. It's going, that's going to happen sometimes. There's nothing we can do about that in this game. Okay, let's... Is there anything we can do about that bug there? Let's see. What's causing it is a bit odd. We are setting the... Are we setting the exposition to going without? Oh, I can see. Um, let's just make sure we always switch to this costume here. Be happening, not really happening as much. I have no clue what's really causing it, but eh, never mind. It's working just about. And now, as you can see, we've got a working spruce fire. Now, what we're going to do is make it so that. Uh, the background is going to change depending on the biome. 
So it's now going to check what the biome is in the world. So if biome is equal to, let's say, uh, one, we're going to change the costume to, well, the original costume. To do this, well, now we're just going to make another costume, make it a bit like a yellow colour. That will be for the desert. Let's make it a bit more like that. So if the biome is two, we're going to switch to that new costume. And if it's three, we're just going to switch to a kind of grey costume. Now it's done. So now we have a nice effect. After that, we can add a little menu screen. So just take out this uh, here and we're going to add a receive block uh, called generate. We're going to create a new sprite. Uh, we're going to make sure we only show block type. Uh, when we begin the world, and also make sure you show health. Nah, that's not that there. Variable part of the spike. Okay, show health here. Make a new spike. This is going to have the logo of. Minecraft in, but we're not going to use that one. I'm just going to use a kind of pixel font. So, Minecraft 2D Minecraft tutorial. Just put that there. And you can add a little effect to it if you want. That set the brightness to something a bit lighter or darker. That works. Maybe add a bit of a background there. That will do. We're going to set uh, the Y position to 160 and uh, the exposition to zero. Let's just change that a little, I don't like it being that high up. There, that'll do. Now we're just going to hide the block type and uh, is it, well, whatever that variable there is, health, I guess, in that right there, and now you can see we've got that. We're going to make sure we only start this and generate it first. We're going to just hide it before that. Yeah, that could be a bit of an issue. So we're just going to make it so if V is pressed, uh, it's going to, well, create a clone. Let's do this in its own script. Okay, get rid of all that. Grab the fears pressed, it's going to create a clone. We're going to wait until V is not pressed to stop it from well creating too many clones. Actually, let's wait till like 0.1 seconds or something. Let's make that a bit lighter. Or darker. Yeah, I think that's good. Now, at the beginning of the game, we're just going to switch to costume one when we don't need to detect the biome. So, forever, if we're going to start that when generators first. I guess we could kind of add a little generation script at the beginning of the game, but that would take time and would be quite intensive for the computer. 
and also we would have to add loads of other stuff so yeah now I'll just duplicate that um, change that like generate or something I'll start game start game I'll just sort this out so it's in the center and then we're and then we're just going to broadcast generate and make all the leash hide when the game is started. Forever, well, forever if uh, mouse down and touching mouse pointer is going to broadcast, uh, uh, well, generate. It's then going to stop the script. And well, we're we'll also make it so when it receives that generate, uh, it's going to stop all other scripts in the sprite and also hide. We'll also make sure we show at the beginning of the game. Now that should be done. Now we'll also make sure we show here. Let's make it so the generation actually happens instantly. For this, you can just make a custom block. These allow you to make a kind of script that you can call from anywhere in the sprite, but this is what we want. Run without screen refresh. So make something called like generate. Uh, that this will basically mean it's going to do it in one screen refresh, so it's going to happen pretty much instantaneously. But it won't be instant because of well it's quite an intensive thing for the computer to do. And that didn't work. Okay, um yeah, that's definitely causing quite a few issues. Um let's see why that's happening. Yeah, let's just Leave it like that for now. There's nothing really wrong with it. Okay. Now you can see that that's working. At least most of the time. That looks like it's offsetting there. I wonder where it could be. Um, it's like something's gone a bit incorrect there. Oh well, it's not happening all the time. I think it's when a tree is being generated. Hmm. Who knows? Okay. That was unexpected. Ah, now that's broken. that one yeah not exactly sure what was causing that oh well I'm sure it's fine that will conclude this tutorial